Welcome to Blender Meds. In this short tutorial I'm going to show you how I created this bone cross section. Okay, That's quite a simple process so let's get into it. Okay so we're going to create the cross section of the bone. An easy way of doing this is just use a boolean operator on the bone. So we're going to add a cube. We're going to scale that cube up. We want it so it encases or is at least bigger than the bone. That looks alright. Um, we want to be able to see through this cube, so we'll just hit the cube, go into property panels, viewport display, display as, and just change that to wire. Okay. Now select the cube and just move it off to the side and select your pelvis object. Go into modifiers, add modifier, boolean, and then with the little eyedropper here, just pick the cube. So now when we grab the cube and we move it across, it cuts the object for us. So you can see the boolean operator can give you some artifacts if we zoom in, going along there. And in some cases it just falls apart completely. So just find a, an area where it works well. Okay, once you're happy with that, select your bone and just apply it. And then we can delete the cube because we don't need it anymore. So what we're going to have to do is if we go into wireframe mode, we can see it's created just one big polygon. Okay. And I, I need to subdivide this mesh when we render it. So if I add a subdivision surface modifier to it now, you can see it doesn't work that well. It's trying to subdivide over that huge um, polygon. So to fix that, we need to do a little bit of modeling. So I'm going to go into polygon mode and just delete that polygon okay and then what I want to do is go around the edge here and just clean up these points we don't need all these points here the more points we got the more polygons we've got to put across to um, create the flat face so I'll do a couple and then I'll just speed the video up so you don't have to sit and watch me do it so I'm going to grab these two here vertex merge vertices at center and then I will just go through and continue to do that. Okay, so we've got those merged up. We've got a few less polygons we have to deal with. So we're now going to bridge across. So we're going to use the F2 tool. Um, if that's not turned on, we'll go to Preferences, Add-ons, F2. Just make sure that's turned on. Now I believe the original hotkey is F. I've actually changed that on mine, but um, once you've got it activated, you just select two edges and you will hit F. Then you select a couple of points and just keep hitting F. And now create the polygons for you. It's not critical that these polygons look perfect, but we want to try and uh, make them as nice as possible. Okay, so now if we go into subdivide mode or add subdivision surface, we turn off wireframe, we have a nice edge that we can work with. So this is the production scene that I used with the client. The client was on a pretty limited budget so I had to do some cheats just to get it done quickly. So for the main uh, pelvis texture here, I just used a principal shader. For the color, I used a uh, image which was driving a mixed color node, and that was just plugged into the base color of the principal shader. And for the bump, I had a bump map, 
There's an image that I'd found. And then I mix those two together. And then just edit the bump. And that's how I got that texture. And that's the same for all the other bones. Okay. Now the cross section here. Okay. So that has. Just let me organize these a bit better. So what we'll do is we will uh, recreate this from scratch. Eh? So I'll delete all of this. Okay. So I created a mat image there that allowed me to texture the outer edge separately to the um, spongy bone in the center. And then I had a image map. So I can delete that. Okay. So you can see the image when it comes in straight away. Let's work on that first. It's just way too big. So to fix that, I grabbed the texture coordinate node, plugged in UV, and then I added in a mapping node. Just put that in there. And then I just adjusted the scale. In um, this case, 7 is what I believe I used. And that scales it down. Okay. Now I needed to be able to separate the two shaders or the materials, colors. So to do that, I add in a mix RGB node and I use the color from this matte image to drive that. So if we plug that in now and I'll change the colors, you can see how that's controlling that mix node. So in the black port, I want to put in the bone texture. Okay, and then in the, in the red port, I'm just going to change it to a kind of whitish color. Doesn't really matter, but that's fine. Okay. And we need to do the bump. So add on the bump node. And we're going to plug in the bump texture. Sorry, we're going to plug in the bone texture. Normally you use a proper bump map texture, but when you're doing things quick, you do what you can. And we're going to put that, we need to add in a diffuse. I'll use a principal shade node. Okay, and then plug that in. Plug that into color. And then we're going to plug this into normal. And you'll see we get the bump there way too high. So we'll turn that right down. Just so you can see something going on there. Yeah, play with the roughness. Just a little bit of highlights on there. Looks all right. I'll try and turn it down a little bit more. Okay. Now you see one issue we're getting here is we can bump on this edge here, which we don't want. So an easy way of fixing that. Actually, we could just plug that in here to fix it. There we go. That's the easy way of fixing that. We'll just adjust that. We'll just do a quick render in cycles and see what it looks like. Turn that down a bit. Turn down the reflection. I think that looks all right. So very simple, just plugging a, plugging a texture in, and adjusting the size of the texture with the mapping node, and then just mixing that together and adding in the bump. And we got ourselves a pretty nice bone cross section. So I hope you learned something from that and um, don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next time. Thank you.